Once upon a time, in the lush and resource-rich land of Ogonaland, a small community nestled in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria, there lived a proud and resilient people, called the Igoni. They were known for their deep connection to the land, their vibrant culture, and their unwavering determination to protect their environment from exploitation. In 1996, the Igoni people found themselves facing a grave threat. Their land was abundant with oil reserves, a valuable resource that drew the attention of the Nigerian government and powerful multinational oil corporations. However, the Igoni people understood the dire consequences that often accompanied the exploitation of these resources. They witnessed neighboring communities devastated by oil spills, pollution, and environmental degradation, and they were determined to prevent the same fate from befalling their beloved homeland. At the forefront of this movement was a charismatic and passionate Agoni leader named Ken Sarawaiwa. He had a vision of a prosperous and sustainable Ogana land, where the people's rights were respected and their land was protected. Ken Sarawaiwa rallied the Agoni people, urging them to stand together in the face of adversity. With unity and resilience, the Igoni people organized peaceful protests and voiced their concerns over the destructive practices of the and the development of their community. Their peaceful activism gained international oil companies. They demanded fair compensation for the use of their land, proper environmental safeguards, and investments eye attention and support, shining a spotlight on the plight of the Igoni people. However, their fight for justice was met with resistance from the Nigerian government, which saw the Igoni's demands as a threat to its economic interests. In response to the Igoni people's peaceful protests, the government declared a state of emergency in Ogonaland, deploying military forces to suppress their activism. The situation took a dark turn when Ken Sarawaiwa and eight other Igoni leaders were arrested on trumped-up charges. They were subjected to a sham trial that was widely condemned as unjust. Despite the global outcry and appeals for clemency, the government proceeded with its plan, and in a devastating blow to the Igoni people, Ken Sarawaiwa and his companions were unjustly executed. The news of their deaths reverberated around the world, sending shockwaves through the hearts of those who believed in justice and human rights. The Igoni people mourned the loss of their leader but they refused to let his sacrifice be in vain. Their resolve to protect their land and fight for their rights only grew stronger. In the aftermath of this tragedy, the international community intensified its pressure on the Nigerian government, calling for an end to the environmental degradation in Ogonaland. The Igoni cause became a symbol of resistance and drew support from activists, environmentalists, and human rights organizations worldwide. Years later, the struggle of the Igoni people would bear fruit. In response to the global outcry, the Nigerian government established the Igoni Environmental Restoration Authority, OERA, to address the environmental damage caused by decades of oil extraction in Ogonaland. International assistance and funding were provided to clean up the polluted land and waterways, and measures were put in place to hold oil corporations accountable for their actions. The story of the Igoni people and their fight against environmental injustice serves as a reminder of the power of unity, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. Though they endured great pain and loss, the Igoni people's unwavering determination laid the groundwork for a brighter future.